Hi, I'm Phil Needham with Needham Ag Technologies. Today we're doing a no-till study where we are planting winter wheat into corn stalks with two different John Deere 1560 drills. One is equipped with Precision's planting new row by row cedar force system. The other one is a stock drill. So the protocol of this uh, trial site that's behind us, we're gonna be comparing two different drills, one stock, one's got all the Precision planting technology on it. And I've been interested in the Delta Force system on planters. Many people have seen and experienced that system for a few years. And I've seen firsthand the benefits of that system. Whereas if, if you're planting a field of corn with Delta Force and there's wheel tracks from combines or grain carts or sprayers across the field, I've seen the row unit sensing and adjusting on a row by row basis to adjust for those field conditions. This is the same principle, but it's on a on a John Deere box drill. So I'd like to introduce Will Frank, he's with Precision Planting. He's the product manager for the Cedar Force system. So I'm gonna turn it over to you, Will, and I'd like you to explain what's going on here with all of the sensing and adjusting here on this row unit. Thank you, Phil. So as Phil mentioned, I'm Will Frank. I'm an engineering product manager at Precision Planting and in charge of Cedar Force. So let me give you a brief explanation of the system, how it works, and the advantages that it has. Uh, so on this 24 row 1560, we have load sensors on every single row. And what that load sensor does is measures the amount of weight that's on this gauge wheel. And we communicate uh, those pounds to a module called an SRM or single row module that's also present on every single row. So what the operator can do from the cab, he can monitor the amount of weight that's on each gauge wheel independently and uh, give uh, an assurance that he is reaching the proper depth. And so he can set a downforce target of say uh, 100 pounds to be carried on each gauge wheel and the load sensor will measure that and compare and send those values to the SRM which then compares what the operator has set in the cab to what's actually happening on this row unit. And then the great thing about having a load pin and a sensor on every row is that we can turn this 24 row cedar into uh, 24 cedars, 24 one row cedars. Um, and so if we need a little bit more downforce to maintain the target, the SRM will then command more pressure, more down pressure to this hydraulic cylinder and will push harder into the ground to main, make sure that we're maintaining the correct amount of force and to make sure that we're maintaining depth. So what we're doing today is a downforce trial. Uh, we're going to be comparing this 1560 drill with our row by row cedar force system to a stock drill. And we will then be able to see um, the emergence difference, the stand count difference, and to, to give you an idea of, of the performance uh, and the improvement that a cedar force system can give you. So thank you for taking the time to watch the video and to learn more about cedar force, please visit precisionplanning.com and use our dealer locator tool to locate a precision planning dealer near you. Thank you.